everyone, welcome back to Make It Clever. My name is Chad Bradle and today I'd like to show you a camera bracket I made for my Creality CR10. Right here. I designed this with the original intent to be used as a time-lapse bracket with the idea that you make your own custom heads to fit into the top of this. That way there's no wasted plastic if you decide to change your camera in the future. And a little something extra that you can do with it that I plan to do. And more on that in a second. But let me show you what it can do. It just locks right in, just like that. Locks right in the framework. And if you're using a 3D printer, possibly the TiVo Tornado, whatever might use the same framework as this printer, this should latch right into it. So let me show you what I got going on. I made this little custom head that'll sit right inside of here. This is a 25 millimeter diameter cylinder and it's 25 millimeters tall. Now the hole goes all the way through so you can make it longer if you want to but this seems to work just fine for me. And then I designed this for an old HTC Android phone. Snaps right in. Seems to be holding all right. Drop it in, align it, point it, start and go. Now, ironically, this phone is having some issues with time lapses. So if you happen to have a particular Android app you use for time lapse photography, post it down below. I would love to know. But that's it. That's the general consensus behind it. It works great. The heat bed clears it, even with uh, knobs I got from Thingiverse. Just like that, as you can see. Now to show you how strong this is, let me demonstrate that for you, shall I? Lock it in, and then using a brand new spool of filament, filament. This is Digistruck PLA. This is 2.2 pounds, and this is the exact filament I used to print that, just so you know. I'll put a link down in the description below if you would like to get this filament. At the time it was only $15 on Amazon and when I just checked today, it was 13 bucks, or $12.99. So link down below if you'd like to check that out and get this filament. Works great for me, does a good job. Anyways, no problem. I'm shaking the whole table. It can hold the weight. Seems to be very strong, and I actually know it can hold more weight than that. But more on that to come in a future video. <laughs> but anyways, what I'd like to do is actually make a custom head to hold a spool of filament just like this or a little bit off, and then put it in the back corner instead of having the filament attached to the standard spool holder that comes with your Creality CR10. I think that'll look slick and it's something I'd like to try. Definitely an idea worth pursuing. Now if you're wondering about the settings I used to print this bracket, I used 50% infill with two millimeter walls and that seems to be doing a great job as far as giving it uh, the strength that it needs to hold up. I also used uh, one of the later versions of Cura and the pattern of infill was like triangles, I think. So just common things. I believe I printed it at uh, 80 millimeters uh, a second print speed too. Everything else is pretty default. Well, if you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. All of the above, it really helps me out and it really helps me push forward into making great things for you. Remember, if you're going to make anything, make it clever. Take care. HTC something, something no one really cares about because it's old. But, anyways, I made it for my particular phone for time lapse. Woo! <laughs> well, 